What is going on ladies and gentlemen and Merry Christmas to you and your family. In today's video, we are talking Bitcoin as always. Today we're covering what's been going on this week. We're gonna do a recap of exactly what happened throughout the week. It's been a very up and down week as you guys know. Um, then we're gonna do a recap on the trades that we spoke about and that we mentioned the trade setups from Monday and then we're gonna go over some trade setups for this weekend that we're gonna be watching to hopefully make you lovely people some profits this weekend so trust me you do not want to miss out on this video guys make sure that you like and subscribe guys hit that notification bell and drop a comment let us know if you've been in this bull run and if you guys are interested in using the exchange that we use uh, we use Bybit and in the description we have a link where you guys can sign up through that and uh, you'll be able to get some rewards on your initial deposit up to around a hundred dollars or more so without further ado let's jump right in guys Alrighty guys, welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. My name is Jay and today we're gonna jump right in with first of all with the uh, With the trade setups that we spoke about on Monday Hopefully you guys took any of these trade setups and you would have made some nice profits um, The first trade setup that we gave you on Monday was to buy an entry a breakout entry above 23,000 that was the first setup for Bitcoin that we gave you guys um, enter it above 23,000 at the time, it was probably like around 22,600, something like that. Um, and that ran, if you entered at 23,000 and held to the top of that range, um, it ran to the new all time high, which was 24,700, which would have been a, around a 74% profit on that trade if you held out um, that whole time. Um, and then the second trade we gave you guys on Monday was Ethereum. We told you guys we're buying above 620 as a breakout entry and that ran up to about 638 for about a 15 percent profit uh if you were able to hang on and exit at the top there um so not not too shabby not too shabby we hit on on two of the trades that we gave you guys um the other trade was on on a drop which didn't happen so uh we were able to hit the breakout that's why we always have two setups guys you always want to have a setup in the event that uh the price drops and you want to have a setup in the event that the price goes up so you you want to have you want to be prepared for every situation let's jump into the charts guys let's talk about what happened this weekend as you guys can see here basically we've had this big bull flag here uh going on um and that's kind of what we've been watching as you guys see it's been respecting this channel the top of the channel that you know started way down here um it it respected it as part of the bull flag here and as you saw we kept getting rejected up here rejected 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 until finally today we were able to break out and as you guys know what we were doing we were basically you know buying anytime it came into the greens into the green zone down here and then you know taking profits up here so you guys can see how many times it did that right it just kind of bounced back and forth if you guys if you guys look at this after this after it went up here then it came down up down up down up it was pretty pretty easy pickings there to be able to get those that plan worked out perfectly and then the next plan was to buy on a break of this of this uh flag right here which also worked out perfectly as you guys can see there and we set new all-time highs today again so uh, the new all-time high is now set at uh, $24,812. And you see that we just touched it again uh, in the last few minutes, I believe, actually. Um, we just touched that, that $24,800 again. Um, so what we can expect now over the weekend, um, as you guys know, over the weekends, for the last few weeks, we've been getting a lot of uh, movement to the upside. And then sometimes on Sunday, going into Monday, we've been getting drops. So that's kind of what we're watching for this weekend. Um, we're looking to buy basically above uh, the all time high at this point for the breakout trade. Um, so the first trade that we're looking at is to buy above that 24,800 zone. Uh, we'll have entries set up above the new all time high because we believe a break of this could lead uh to twenty five thousand. so that's currently what we're watching here we're watching for a break of that to hit that 25k over the weekend the next thing we're watching if we have a pullback 
it could definitely pull back to that 4,000 zone right back here and test this and confirm it as a support. So that, that next entry that we're looking at um, is a pullback entry, right? So we're looking to um, for the price to do something like this where it comes down here and then comes back up. And then on the way up, that's where we're going. We're looking to enter as a uh, breakout trade. So that's currently what we're watching though. Those are the two main trades that we're watching. We wanna try to buy above that breakout up here, right? And then we wanna try to buy, if there's a pullback, we, we're looking to buy down here at these levels, right? Um, so those are the two main trades really that we're watching this weekend, guys. Um, there's, not much, there's not that much to it. We're just, just kinda hang out. We're not doing too much trading. Um, but there could be a lot of volatility coming in over the weekend, um, especially after Christmas. I still think we're going to go up, but you know, you have to be prepared for any scenario. So another thing, um, a lot of people, a lot of these YouTubers and all these guys on Instagram were talking about this, um, possible head and shoulders thing here. So, so everybody was saying that, oh my God, there's a head and shoulders and uh bitcoin's gonna dump and they're trying to predict that and the thing that you guys forget is that it's bitcoin and bitcoin doesn't care about your head and shoulders uh bitcoin doesn't really care about technical analysis and bitcoin doesn't care about your bias um there's a lot of bitcoin bears out there that were calling head and shoulders and they were calling a 30 percent dump and were reminded that bitcoin doesn't care and it's just gonna do what it wants at the end of the day that's why you cannot have biased uh, when trading guys and you cannot, you know, regardless of your opinion of what you think Bitcoin may do and regardless of the, the analysis that you do on Bitcoin and try to figure out what, where it's going to go. Um, at the end of the day, you have to just trade price action. Don't trade your opinions. Don't trade your bias. Don't trade your your predictions. Just trade that price action, guys. If you if you do that, then you'll become a better trader. And that is basically what we did. Um, this week, we didn't care about all that other mumbo jumbo and we just traded the price action. We traded exactly what the price gave us and that's how we stayed profitable um, throughout the week and that's how we stay profitable long term. We're going to take a look at Ethereum here. Um, as you guys can see, there's been a lot of just kind of a roller coaster. It's been a roller coaster ride this week, right? So we've had that grind down. Well, we went way below the, that level that we liked to, that we liked here, right? So we rode all the way down. Now we did hit that uh, that 620 trade, as you guys can see here, hit 620, and it rode up almost to 640, which was this next Fibonacci level, that 38.2 percent, and then it got rejected right back down, and um, and it had a bounce around that 580 range. So we spoke about this range before. As you guys can see here, there's been a lot of price action there um, in, on, at that 580 and then we had the bounce there, right? We went up and we were able to take some trades there at 580 um, right here once it broke up. Um, and as you guys can see, it's just gone all the way up pretty much, you know? Right now, we're currently at this resistance, which is a, a Fibonacci level, which is also on top of that, the next trade that we were looking at, which was that 620 uh, range right here. So um, that was at 61.8% Fibonacci level. And as, as you guys can see, we broke out we, and we hit about 633 or so. Um, and now we came back down and we broke out of it again. So um, that 620 zone is definitely a level that you guys can trade here. Um, if it's going down and up, you guys can enter it every time it goes back up. Um, and then use basically this, these uh, Fibonacci levels as your targets. So you'd be looking at 630, 640, and 650, right? Um, those are the basic numbers that you're looking for. And then of course, the all-time high is right above here. So that's right around 680. So that's that next entry that we're looking for. So right now our entries is, we're gonna keep using this, um, this Fibonacci level uh, to take entries, which is that 620 zone. So we really like that zone to continue taking entries there. But if we see a lot of um, consolidation, just kind of like this, then we might look for a new entry, possibly like above another candle, a recent high or a daily high, something like that, to try to, to not be in this consolidation pattern so much, right? 
consolidation kills kills your stop losses usually uh, or you just need to have really wide stops that's the issue with that so we're using the 620 level for trades um, and other than that uh, if we drop if we were to drop back down that first level that we're looking for for an entry is 600 next level is that 580 mark that we spoke about right here um, if we break out then we're we're, we're going to be using that 620 um, and then you can that next entry above 620 is going to be the 650 right and then you're looking to hit with a break above 650 you're looking to hit the the previous high which was this right here which was 680 so that would be your final target and then above 680 will be a new entry again so that is what we're looking at in ethereum guys and bitcoin for this weekend that's all we're covering today guys i hope you guys are enjoying your holidays um i hope you guys have are safe out there but that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys have an incredible weekend hope you guys are enjoying the holidays and, and i will see you next week on monday peace and love guys